Close neighbours, in close proximity in the narrow Anfield tunnel, and enough local lads to make this an authentic derby. There'll be Scandinavians, Spaniards, Africans and Aussies out on that field today, but every one of them will be fluent in Scouse for the next couple of hours. Naismith winning it back and finding Kevin Kilban, who goes down under the challenge on Alonso. You get the feeling the set pieces are going to be important on a day like today. We just talked about the competitive nature of this football match. There's lots of challenges. Uh, oh, looks like Steven Gerrard. Yeah, I think it was something he said. Again, uh, I can't understand Steven's question that decision because he's a late challenge from Alonso. Pumped back in though by Neville. Gerrard with a good header clear to kill Ban though. And that was a wild challenge by Gerard. Oh, yeah, I he's just been booked as well. It's a good job Kevin kilban has got back up on his feet straight away. And he looks like he's going to go for it, you know. It's another yellow card coming out. And that means red. The Liverpool captain, Stephen Gerrard, is dismissed after 18 minutes of the Merseyside derby. He scored in his last two derbies. There's delight amongst the Everton contingent. A harsh decision by referee Phil Dow, perhaps, and a costly one it could be for Liverpool and Gerrard. Oh, what a brilliant goal! Neville holds his head in his hands, and his misery is completed. The cross was splendid, the header was not. And Liverpool have lost their captain, but gained the lead. And Garcia gets in here with a chance to score! And he takes it! Liverpool get goals either side of half-time. And the cop goes crazy! Raining ball, the little flick from Crouch, and Garcia just takes a gamble. Now, I can't understand why Richard Wright decides very early that he thinks he's got a chance of getting that. And they have got one back, and it's the man who has a habit of getting goals on vital occasions, just like Luis Garcia does for Liverpool, Cahill gives Everton a glimmer of hope. And really, Cahill just makes this his own. And he does it time and time again. It's amazing that sides don't seem to be able to deal with him. He gets across James Beatty. Beatty certainly doesn't know this has gone in the back of the net, but Cahill does. Tremendous header. Would it have gone in if Liverpool had a player on the post? Not sure. Who'll take it, Alonso or Risa? It's the Spaniard! Oh! Another flashpoint in the derby. Well, that's a poor challenge, Alan. It really is. And, and again, you know, he's a player that's that's been around. He's, he's played his football in Holland. He's played in Italy. He's now playing in England. It's just a stupid, stupid challenge. Now, if you're jumping, people say your arms. Yeah, are your arms that high? Are you going to flail with that arm? to try and win the header? I don't think you are. Garcia. Kuhl has found a bit of space here. And finds the net with a brilliant goal to clinch victory for Liverpool, surely. Why has no one gone to close him down? But don't take anything away from the strike. That is pure brilliance. It's always going away from Richard Wright. The goalkeeper can do nothing whatsoever. The pace, the swerve, the difficulty to deal with. The 203rd Merseyside derby was a memorable one. Two red cards, a whole host of yellows, four goals, talking points galore. But the headline is that Liverpool have won again to move above Manchester United for the moment and into second place in the Premiership table.